Number 10. Luxembourg's national motto is that we want to remain what we are. This motto came from an 1859 song, marking the construction of the first international railroad in the country. The song mentions Luxembourg's neighbors, France, Belgium, and Germany, inviting them to visit, while also declaring that the Luxembourgers wish to remain Luxembourgers. Luxembourg facts indicate that the song may refer to previous incursions and loss of land in the 17th and 19th centuries. Number 9. Luxembourg is landlocked in Europe. Luxembourg is bordered by Belgium, Germany and France. This leaves Luxembourg landlocked in Europe, though its geography has always proved desirable. Luxembourg is a member of the European Union and uses the euro as its currency. Number 8. Luxembourg recognizes three official languages. Luxembourg facts show that Luxembourgers have a choice of three official languages. Luxembourgish is not only an official language, but is also the national language, and is the most commonly spoken among Luxembourgers. Luxembourgish is a Germanic language, with a strong French influence, and is also spoken in the border areas of Belgium, Germany, and France. French and German are also considered official languages of the small country. Most written languages in Luxembourg are in French or German. Number 7. Luxembourg is 75% smaller than it was in the year 1659. At various points in history, each of its three neighbors has tried to annex Luxembourg in its entirety. Though these attempts were unsuccessful, Luxembourg's size was reduced in three peace treaties. In 1659, the Treaty of the Pyrenees granted France 409 square miles of Luxembourg's original 6,648 square miles. This was a result of the Franco-Spanish War, in which Luxembourg sided with Spain. Number 6. Luxembourg City is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The fortifications and old quarters of the city show the rich history of conquest in the European city. Initially, the city was a small fortress. It was built up and fortified with each successive takeover. Because of its strategic location and numerous takeovers, Luxembourg became one of the largest European fortresses. Number 5. The European Court of Justice is in Luxembourg. The highest court that deals with European Union law is located in Luxembourg City. All of the judicial processes related to the European Union are handled in Luxembourg, including the Court of First Instance and Civil Service Tribunal. Number 4. Luxembourg was a founding member of the EU. Luxembourg was an original member of the Inner Six, which founded the European Economic Community in the year 1958. The other Inner Six countries were Belgium, France, West Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands. Luxembourg facts tell us the EEC, along with the European Coal and Steel Community, was a precursor to the European Union. The ECSC was founded in the year 1951, with Luxembourg as a founding member. Number 3. Luxembourg is a secular state with a Christian majority. While Luxembourg has no state-sponsored religion, it does have official religions, in which it assists with clerical appointments and costs. The religions that currently have this relationship with the government include Judaism, Roman Catholicism, and Islam, among others. The Luxembourg government does not collect data on religious affiliation. However, other organizations outside the country have attempted to ascertain the percentages of religious denominations. The CIA fact book approximated that 87% of Luxembourgers are Roman Catholic. Number 2. Luxembourg is currently the world's only Grand Duchy. A Grand Duchy is a monarchy where a Grand Duke or Grand Duchess rules the land. Luxembourg facts indicate that additionally the Grand Duchy, which is a constitutional monarchy, Luxembourg has a democratic parliament. Number 1. This small European country has the world's highest GDP per capita. GDP per capita is the gross domestic product, divided by the mid-year population of the country. 
Luxembourg is known around the world as a business-friendly country with low corporate taxes, a stable workforce, and government incentives concerning investment, all of which, with its small population, results in an unusually high GDP per capita. That was all for Luxembourg. If you find our content informative, do like, comment, share and subscribe to our channel, Explified.